Here we go. So another USB microphone review. This has been very kindly sent to me by the guys at Tona. Um, and it's, uh, as I just said, USB microphone kit. So in here you should have like a boom arm and all sorts of stuff, but we'll find out in a second. Um, they are at the moment around about £64.99 on Amazon. So the links will be below. So if you do like the sound of it and you fancy a cheap microphone for your recording, um, yeah, you'll you'll see here. We'll see, you'll hear what this sounds like in just a second. So, um, let's see what's in it. One of these boring unboxing reviews. I know. There you go. Blah blah blah. Um, okay. So, what do we have? We have the instruction stuff. I guess we'll have a little look at that in a bit. But you probably won't need it. A pop guard. So that thing feels pretty sturdy, to be honest. That's plastic just there. Um, and then you've got what is a, a metal arm with uh, a little screwy tip just to put it onto the desk mount if you like. Um, not desk mount, well you could have a desk mount actually but I guess that goes onto a microphone stand so there you go, can you see that? Yeah there you are, it's focused in. Right so that is your pop guard, let's put that to one side. Um, we've got the shock mount which feels pretty rugged to be honest so um, we'll see how this works in a bit but it looks like the microphone just slides in um, so yeah that should be pretty good but it's all sort of quite metally so it doesn't feel cheap cheap which is nice you've got your wind muffler type thing um, I guess that stops some of the T's and C's and um, just stop some of the, the breath sounds on the microphone. I never ever use one of these anyway, unless your axle rose, I suppose you would use one of those, but there you go. Um, okay, what else have we got? A USB lead, obviously, because it's a USB microphone. That makes a lot of sense. And then we have, can't get in it. Oh, another bag. How many bags do you need? Don't really need any, to be honest. Let's, let's get, get in there. Oh, there we go. Right. So that looks like it's the desk mount. Obviously, there's quite a bit of play just there for the desk size. Um, yeah, it's going to take a fairly substantial size desk, which will be very weighty if you have got a desk that thick. All right. Now, what else? Get those out of the way. This looks like it's the boom arm. So for 65 quid so far, this actually looks like a really cool kit. Now, obviously, the test is in the sound, which we get from this later on, but we shall soon see. So what we got there? The boom arm, or desk mount boom arm. So I'm guessing that bit there goes into that bit there, but I'll do a little sort of thing of that in a second and then the microphone will go on to that or the no the microphone won't that bit will go on to that there we go um yeah i mean that all seems okay feels very lightweight um yeah you know it's it's it's, it's a kit so you're not going to get like amazing quality single sort of boom arm like that i suppose you'd have to buy one separately which they do do by the way do do they do do right and then lastly this should be the microphone itself and there it is one toner q9 so on the bottom obviously your usb and a threaded thing as well i'm not sure what that's for hmm Okay, all right, we'll find that out maybe later on or in the instructions. Um, you got the uh, volume up and volume down, so you gain in to the uh, device that you're recording onto, which is quite cool to have it on there. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a little sort of see how this sounds or hear how this sounds with a few different instruments. And, uh, yeah, let you guys decide what's what. feels quite plasticky, but it's not. That bit is. Hmm. it's not bad it's not yeah anyway there we go enough of the rambling on about it that is the microphone let's give it a little sound test we've got the boomy arm boomy and we're just gonna whack it onto the desk like so 
very easy and all that sort of stuff whereas if you get the right depth into that little plate thing okay so that's on the desk let's give you a bit more of a whoop. oh look there's my cup of tea and the boom arm itself boom yeah. there we go so that's what it's going to be like on the desk right okay so you've got the shock mount just there one microphone one shock mount apparently it should just slip in there it's quite a snug fit which is obviously what you want really and that is your microphone within the shock mount now, they've got a load of these sort of um, tightening screws on most most on every joint of that um, boom stand so that's pretty cool uh, but yeah I mean that seems quite solid so that's pretty good that's pretty good I mean for 65 quid what do you expect you know you get a microphone shock mount boom stand property pop pop guard and all that sort of stuff I mean that's pretty good for 65 pounds if you're on a budget then for what you get don't know about the sound just yet for, but for what you actually get in the packet that's pretty damn cool so there you are let's see how it sounds so then everyone this is the sound that you're going to get with uh, this wonderful microphone here with a lovely little blue light which sort of comes alive when uh, uh, you plug it in it's all good isn't it um, you can't have technology without a blue light surely it's just one of those things so as far as the boom end and boom end boom end the boom arm is concerned can you hear that is this doing its job can't really see anything registering on there which is pretty cool so if I tap that you will eh, you might hear something anyway um, so what we've got then is this cardioid thing uh, condenser mic so from toner so it's the Q9 um, you get the boom arm you get the mic you get this wonderful little shock mount which all feels pretty sturdy to be honest the even the arm even though it's quite bouncy once it's in place, it does stay unless you force it to move. Um, so it's not dropping down gradually, which is really cool. Um, so for 65 quid, you get a lot of kit for your money. So that is really, really good. So if you're on a budget, fantastic. Um, my guess is, after not hearing back what I've just recorded right now, is that once you listen to this, or once I listen to this as well, um, my, my theory is going to be that if you've got the money, to spend by a more expensive microphone but if you're on a budget then this might be just the thing to get you started within that whole YouTube blogging uh, vlogging um, podcasting world type thing so even for gaming as well because it's USB you'll be able to plug it into Xbox and PlayStation and PC and all that sort of stuff um, so I'm not going to get into the technical data of it because so many people have reviewed this mic and so many people have gone through that technical stuff and to be honest it bores the hell out of me when I hear all the technical stuff I'm just more on what it sounds like rather than the numbers involved um, so yeah if you're obviously wanting to really hear what it sounds like listen to this back in a set of headphones um, and then that'll give you a clearer representation of what you're actually going to hear when you record with one of these mics and I must say that at the moment the level is on half so the input level um, which you can change with the buttons on the front um, so if that's something that you need to do that's cool I haven't EQ'd it um, I'm not compressing it or anything of the sort so it's just the, the pure signal going in and that is what you're going to hear within this review obviously once it's been recorded once all your, your song or your voice or whatever has been recorded if you do decide to buy one of these um, then uh, you can sort of do some post uh, production so add some compression on there you even do that beforehand as well so pre and post uh, production so you can change the eq just to tweak it slightly and make it sweeter in places and things like that so that's something which you can do but i'm just for the purpose of the review i am not going to do that so what you hear is what you get hopefully it's going to sound pretty cool um so if you have any questions about it please comment below and ask 
um, anything you've got which will be really cool and also if you do want to buy one of these the link is in the description below and I haven't been paid to do this they've just given me the microphone so I'm not obliged to do a good review or a bad review I will be honest if it sounds shocking um, I will tell you so there we go um, yeah right um, let's, let's leave it down to the instruments to see how they sound when they're mic'd up yeah okay see you later so coming off from the desk, the boom arm into the uh, shock mount and then that holds nice and tight into the shock mount and we're in front of the Black Star using a Fender Strat. So um, just to give you a little sound test of how it sounds with a microphoned up amp. <laughs> microphone now on the boom stand once more this is I actually really like this thing I've never had a boom stand like this which is desk mount um, and it's actually I think it's going to come in really handy just because it's there ready to go and you can swing it about put it out of the way um, and there's nothing underneath which is apart from the wire at the moment but that's really cool so I'm quite chuffed with that um, still don't know how it sounds though so let's find out and, uh, listen to the acoustic for a bit so this is a Yamaha APX 6C um, I've had this for many many years so let's see how it sounds mic'd up
Um, so the conclusion for this thing, um, it's down to you really, whether you like it or not, because it's kind of one of those things where um, I've got mics like this, which cost a lot more than what this is just for the microphone. So there's no point in me saying I'm going to buy it or not, because I probably wouldn't in that sense, because I've already got stuff to do it, as I said with the last mic review. Um, but my, my aim with this is to try and give you guys a clear representation of the sound that you're going to hear from this kind of microphone, um, budget microphone that it is, um, with instruments and voice. Now, I'm not a singer, so I'm not going to do any singing. Um, so that will just spoil the microphone review and not be very good for your ears. Ah! Uh, so, yeah, this is just one of those things where you can judge for yourself whether it's something that you would use, whether it's something that would be beneficial to you. Now, if you're a gamer, a podcaster, um, you're doing some kind of um, sort of demo, if you like, and you're on a very, very, very tight budget, 65 quid is going to get you a lot of gear. Now, way back when when i first started out then yeah this is something which i would have been so grateful for but now i've got all the gear i wouldn't buy it i probably wouldn't buy it so um uh, but for something which i chuck in a bag and take around with me that might be something which i I'll do because what you get in the kit is quite compact as well so um yeah there you go that's about all i need to say about it and it's down to you guys to judge and decide whether you like this thing or not so links are in that description below. All you need to know, that rhymes. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. So that's it. There's uh, more reviews and things coming up. Obviously, keep watching for the Lick Friday stuff. And um, yeah, keep watching out for jams and jamming tracks and everything else. Come and support my Patreon page. Say hi on all the social media. Like this video, share this video and hit the bell button. Nice one. See you later. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Um, it's uh, me again. I wasn't... Um, going to uh say whether to buy this or not because i hadn't listened to it back um but i've just listened to it back just obviously because i've got to edit this video um and uh it's actually surprisingly really good um for 65 pounds i was really impressed with the sound spoken word especially as you can hear with this now um and with the acoustic guitar now the the electric guitar mic'd up from the amplifier sounded good it was clear it's quite middly but that's kind of the thing you want with a, an electric guitar but the the eq on the amp was set basically level all the way so 12 o'clock for the bass mid and treble um so yeah it's um surprisingly really good if you've got the money for this microphone then i do recommend it it's a lot for your money uh you do get a lot the sound quality is actually pretty good um and um it's it's kind of a mic which is a budget mic but it's got a bigger sound than a budget sound um if you've got the money to buy a more expensive mic then obviously it's a no-brainer do it because you're going to get quality sound um, with this, you're still getting fairly good quality sound, um, but you are obviously getting the whole kit with it. So if you spend 60 quid on a microphone alone, then you're going to have to spend more on getting the boom arm, the shock mount and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it's, it all depends on the budget, um, but you're not going to be disappointed with this is the end of the conclusion. And I will leave you at that because I've already said the goodbyes and what's coming up. So that's it. I shall see you all soon. Once again, goodbye for the second time.